Number 46. If the temperature of a fixed amount of gas is doubled at a constant volume, what happens to the pressure? Okay, good question. So we could basically get this answer from looking at the combined gas law, which is this one, right? Generally speaking, if we want to use all of the four units, it would be P1V1 over T1N1. Now in here, they only talked about three different units. They talked about temperature, volume, and pressure. They didn't specifically talk about the N value, so get rid of it. Who cares about it, right? And since they said that the volume was constant and it's not changing from one to the other, I don't care about that either. And now we have a lovely formula that is just talking about uh, P and T, pressure and temp. Okay, now the next thing is from this formula, we have to figure out what direct or indirect relationship is this, right? Is this a direct relationship between pressure and temp or is it indirect? Well, I see that they're one in the numerator and one in the denominator. So if basically we increase this pressure, what am I going to have to do to this temperature? Well, usually if you see something over something else, that's always a direct relationship. And that's what we have here. So if the pressure increases, the volume has to also increase. And if the pressure decreases, did I say volume? I'm so sorry. If the pressure increases, the temperature has to increase. And then vice versa, if the pressure decreases, the temperature has to decrease. Now they're saying over here that that temperature is doubled. So it looks like that temperature increases two times. So what do you think is going to happen to the pressure? Well, just like we said, it's a direct relationship, so it has to increase. And now by how much? Direct. So it's got to also increase by two times. And that is your answer, basically. It all comes down to just knowing your relationships. So it will also, so I'll say P is also doubled because it's a direct relationship. And that's it. So this one was pretty easy. What do you think, guys? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I will see you all in later lessons. Bye-bye.